Here tonight, it's the Cubs hosting the Pirates, the first of a four-game set from Wrigley Field. Our pitcher here tonight it is Justin Steele. You see, he has a curveball and a changeup, but he hardly ever uses them. It's fastball slider, 97 percent of the time. First pitch strike to Connor Joe, who is six for ten in his career against Justin Steele, and he lines it into center field. Connor Joe, whose OPS coming into this game, 867. Eighth highest in the National League, and that will climb after that solid single to center. Underway with the leadoff man at first base, and that'll bring up Ryan Reynolds. Popped up and magical. And that quickly Reynolds retired. Here's O'Neill Cruz left on left, homered off steal on Saturday. On the ground to the right side. Let's see if they can turn it. They get one on the first. And it's safe. I was certainly hit hard enough, but Nick just didn't get enough on that feed just to uh, Master Borney over there at second base. Should have been a double play. So the inning continues now with Edward Olivares. A line drive to left field, hit deep to the wall and clear the deck. Cannonball coming for Eddie O. Number five on the season. Two nothing Pirates in the first. Well, a little miscue at second base there, allowing O'Neill Cruz to beat out the backside of the double play. Nice to capitalize on it right there, Edward Olivares. Get Justin Steele up in the zone, give you an opportunity to get underneath something and drive it. And now Nick Gonzalez, the third baseman at the plate. In the air to right center, Suzuki on the move, and Saya makes a nice sliding grab. Heck of a play by Saya Suzuki to steal extra bases. From Nick Gonzalez. Jared Jones, eight starts, fantastic 268 ERA and 47 innings pitched. 56 strikeouts in 47 innings pitched. Talkman pops it up. Foul territory off to the left. The catcher Grandal near the on-deck circle makes the catch. One away. And Jared Jones facing Seiya Suzuki. On the ground, through the left side hole, a base hit between Gonzalez and Cruz. So Saya punches a 98 mile an hour four seamer through that left side hole. Now Cody Bellinger who homered off Jones on Saturday. In the air right field. That one back back some more and caught up against the wall by Oliveras. Bellinger just missed it. Yeah oh so close to a tie ball game win earlier today was blowing out to right that ball wasn't really high. Higher than might be a little more carry. Morrell was one for three against Jared Jones last Friday. And a roller. Cruz doesn't think about throwing to second, instead, guns it across to first. And Jared Jones keeps the Cubbies off the board. 2 0 Pittsburgh. Justin Seal gets the first out here in the second, and now it's Jack Sawinski getting the start, the Chicago native. Swing and a miss, and Steele not interested in that reduced strikeout rate as he fans him for his first punch out. With one on and two away, a 1 2 count with Williams at the plate. Takes off, pitches cut on and missed a strikeout, and that'll end the top of the second. Steele punches out a couple of pitches around the walk from midway in inning number two. Ian Happ looks at a curveball for a strike, 0 oh, 1 the count to begin the bottom of the second inning. Jared Jones, the right hander, works his motion. The next pitch drilled deep down the right field line. This is gone. It hit the foul pole for a home run. Welcome back, Ian Happ. Home run number two on the year for Happer, and the Cubs are on the board. Well, Ian gets a pitch to hit. Ian stays around home plate, gives it a little body English, and bangs off the fencing next to the foul pole, and it ends up being a hey-hey for the Cubs as it hit right <laughs> below the famous call. Third strikeout of the night for Steele as Nick Gonzalez digs in. And a drive to left field. Going back. Hap to the wall and clear the deck with a Gonzo Gunner. That's his second. And it is 3-1 Pirates. A no doubter right there from Nick Gonzalez. Just like before, if you can get Justin Steele up in the zone, especially at this ballpark, the Pirates have got a chance to lose a couple of baseballs. Michael Bush at the plate. Two away here in the fourth. Ripped and out touchdown and head towards the corner. Bush. Around first on his way to second, Oliveris will dig it out. And with two outs, the Cubs have a man in scoring position, a double from Michael Bush. So Bush in scoring position with two away here in the last of the fourth. It'll bring up Nick Madrigal. The other way, base hit. 
Bush to third. Olivares up with it. Here's the throw to the plate. Tag. Safe. And Madrigal to second. It's 3 2. Well, there's your drama. A bang bang play at home plate. It's so important for Bush to get an aggressive lead there with Olivares really shortened up and right. Madrigal hit the ball with a little steam on it. Well played by Olivares. Good base running by Bush. Michael Taylor going to go into at least second base. Yes, cut off by Suzuki and a leadoff double for Taylor. And now Reynolds is 0 for 2. A couple of pop ups. Ground ball off the glove of Morrell and into left field. Reynolds will head to second base with an RBI double. Taylor scores. Huge run for the Pirates to make it 4 2. Ball was hit hard to the backhand of Morrell. Tried to go down and make a dive in play. Almost like his fleet got stuck with him and went off his glove and trickled back into fair territory. Had a desperate effort at trying to field it on a hop. Went off his glove and in the center. Hard hit single for Tuckman. Tuckman over there at first. Two down. One and two on Cody. Hit hard pass Connor Joe. Down the right field line. Going to pick it up as Oliveris. They're going to send Tuckman. And it's a 4-3 game. Nice at bat by Belly as he fouled off some good pitches. He fouled off a couple of high fastballs that were not easy to get on top of. And then gets a fastball up in the zone inside. Connor Joe, I think this ball kind of surprises him. And it goes right past him inside the bag at first. Olivares into second base with a stand-up double. You hit it the other way, you at least advance the runner. And now the Cubs, here with one out, have to play the infield in. As Monty Grandal at the plate, switch hitter batting from the right side. It's 0 for 2 tonight, the pitch. Line drive to right, coming in, Suzuki. Oh, he missed it. It gets by him. Coming in to score is Olivares, and cruising in the second base is Grandal. The Pirates got away with a break right there. A low line drive to Suzuki, Suzuki and Olivares was caught in between whether or not he needed to tag up or be halfway because the, the ball was so low. And Suzuki just missed it. Might have been one of those ones that got in the lights. Those low line drives like that they give outfielders fits. And there's a new pitcher on the mound for Pittsburgh. Colin Holderman takes over. Holderman grew up in Bourbon A, about an hour south of here. Seiya Suzuki digs in. Righty righty matchup. Holderman's ready to pitch. Oh, it hits Seiya. By the reaction of Seiya, that one buzzed them pretty good. He's. Kind of got that dead arm still shaking his arm as he's going up the line. Saya stays in the game, though. He's at first base. No one out. Cody Bellinger at the plate representing the tying run. Holderman deals. With a tap around in front of the plate. Grandal picks it up. Throws it away. Suzuki to third. He'll stop there. Bellinger into second. And they're in business. It's second and third. Nobody out here. Bottom eight. An error by the catcher. Grandal catches this ball, picks up this ball, I should say, barehanded. He spins and throws, but throws this ball right into the runner, Bellinger, and goes down the line. Morrell 0 for 3. Couple of ground outs, and he is struck out. Rip left field. Sawinski has it. Tagging from third, coming in to score is Seiya Suzuki, and the Cubs are within one. It's outside, ball four. So the tying run at second, the go-ahead run is at first, and Madrigal will get a chance to hit. Bouncing ball, backhand, Williams a little late getting the ball out of his glove, but he'll get the out nonetheless. Well, nicely done by pitching coach Oscar Marine settling down Holderman. Pirates lead by one. Pirates bringing on closer David Bednar. And coming in with eight saves and 11 tries, he's gotten back on track after a bumpy start to the season. With one down, it'll bring up Patrick Wisdom. A strong, powerful right handed batter hitting at 303 this season. He struck him out with 97, painted it. Two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Excellent pitch by David Bednar. So the Cubs down to their last out. Mike Talkman at the plate. He swings and pops it up. Left side. O'Neill Cruz and Rays the Jolly Roger in Wrigley. David Bednar saves it for the rookie phenom Jared Jones. And a big W will be raised here at Wrigley Field in the first of a four-game series.